Here we are, Vulcan 900 Custom and Cobra Swept Exhaust Pipes. Here's the muffler body that we're going to slip onto the head pipes once the head pipes are installed on the motorcycle. We are then going to grab these awesome full length heat shields, slide those over the end and up to the head pipes. And this is the look that we're going to replace on the back end of this Vulcan 900. Now, this system comes with all of the clamps, hardware, brackets, every accessory you need to make the installation complete. And we highly recommend the addition of the FI2000 to modify the air fuel so that you don't have any backfiring, popping, or mismanagement of fuel. Alright, so the very beginning steps of installing this exhaust pipe on this Vulcan 900, we're going to remove the stock exhaust pipes and relocate the rear passenger foot peg. All right. Okay. Now that we have the relocation bracket installed, we're going to go ahead and remove the stock exhaust pipe in preparation for the new exhaust. And then after we get the other exhaust pipe installed, we're going to reinstall the stock foot peg using the stock bolts. <coughs> Okay, when we're removing these stock exhaust nuts, you're going to want to make sure you retain these because you're going to reuse these for the reinstallation of the exhaust pipes. Sometimes going a little smaller allows you to fit into these tight nooks and crannies. Alright, now that we got the rest of these rear mounting bolts unattached, we can toss the stock exhaust pipe. Alright, now anytime you change your exhaust pipes, make sure that you also change your exhaust gaskets. Now that we've got the exhaust gaskets replaced, we're going to take the new head pipes, slide them up into place, and attach them using the stock exhaust nuts. Now I'm going to just set these on here loosely until we get the rest of the exhaust pipe put in place and then we'll snug everything down. Before we put the rear muffler body on, we're going to attach the new mounting bracket. Now the new mounting bracket replaces the existing, so we're going to remove these two bolts and reinstall this. And while we're at it, we can remove this bottom bracket because that's not going to be reused either. All right, now, when reinstalling any hard part, I always recommend the use of Loctite. So now that we've got the exhaust pipes slipped over the head pipes, come take a look over here. Back here is where our mounting holes are at. We're going to go through the back side of this mounting bracket, and then we're going to look up front here, locate our bolt in the front, go ahead and tighten that down. Now this is imperative. Tightening this down is number one. Secure this 100%. We're then going to come up and alternate these nuts front and rear until we get the head pipe secured and then the last step is going to be to secure these clamps. Okay, now that we have these two rear these two rear bolts tight, we're going to move forward to the front here. And now, we are going to snug each of these exhaust nuts working them a little bit at a time. What we're going to do here with the exhaust clamps is we're going to secure this tailpipe section to the head pipe. As you can see there's a groove right here. This allows some expansion so you can slip this muffler onto the head pipe. But now we need to make this secure. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this clamp up so that it covers this gap. 
right here to the top. Now, any farther back, we're not going to be able to really pinch that because it's a solid piece of metal. So make sure that you're working where that groove is, and then tighten this clamp. There we have it. The exhaust pipes are now installed other than the heat shields. So before I go ahead and install the uh, heat shields, I'm just going to, just on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and wipe the bike down so that I make sure that I get all of the fingerprints and residue and anything like that that's on these exhaust pipes so they don't burn on once you fire the bike up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open each of these exhaust clamps. And what we're going to do here is we're going to thread these through as welded in piece in the pipe with the nut facing down so that once the exhaust pipe's on the bike, I can go ahead and reach underneath and tighten this clamp. I'm going to go ahead and continue to do this for these other two and then we'll take this up and set it on the motorcycle. We're going to take this exhaust pipe heat shield and slip the rear muffler into this piece right here. I'm going to go ahead and spread this clamp. Just like so. And wiggle this forward. Go ahead and spread this clamp up front. Yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and snug down each of these three exhaust clamps and then we're going to work on the head pot. Alright, now that we've got our hose clamps all installed back here, we're going to go ahead and slide this heat shield over the back here. Just spread this clamp. the top here and this one in the front slide it forward and we're in business all right this front hose clamp was a bugger but we finally got it taken care of and now we're just going to make sure that the other clamps are fully secured once we get that done, we can come back to this rear foot peg and reattach it. All right, now that we've got the exhaust pipes installed, we're going to come over here, reinstall this rear foot peg. If you notice, the cleaner of my choice for this job is Purple Slice. Purple Slice does a great job at removing any foreign object off of your exhaust pipes. Chrome, paint, or any other surface. Just a couple hours ago, we had this Vulcan 900 stock, and now we've got the Cobra swept pipes and the FI 2000. 